Hi my YouTube people, welcome, welcome, welcome to today's newest episode where we will be doing an energy channeling psychic reading on the late, great Tracy Braxton. Thank you all for listening and watching. I am Lamar Townsend. I'm a psychic and energy channeler, a tarot reader, and an astrologer. Many of you have been asking me to do a reading on Tracy. Um, you've been DMing me, leaving messages on my Instagram, my Facebook, on my uh, YouTube, and things of that nature. So, I thank you all for reaching out. I did, of course, want to wait a few days, a little while, to um, tap into the energy of the situation, just because it's so sad. You know, I've always been a fan of Tony, especially. I've always loved Tony Braxton. Um, I remember when I first got my first iPod, and this is how old I am, don't judge me. When I got my first iPod, this is when iPods first came out, and I think I was in middle school. This was back when iPods weren't, like, were sticks. Do you guys remember that? Like, when they were, like, literally like a U USB stick. I'm 30 years old, don't judge me. And I remember one of the first songs, I had Fergie's London Bridge, and then one of my top other, my I think my top number one song I played was Tony Braxton's You're, You're Making Me High. Ah, baby, 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 baby. I love that song. Ooh, I get so high. So that was um, one of my first songs I put on my iPod ever. My very first iPod. I actually kind of wish I still had the iPod. It would be so iconic and nostalgic. If you don't know what the first iPod ever looked like, look up the, the first iPod. It was like a literally a USB stick. Anyways, I've always been a fan of, of the Braxton, specifically Tony Braxton. Also, my favorite Tony Braxton album is actually Li Libra, I think is what it's called, Libra. Um, also, I hope the noise isn't bothering you too much. My windows are open because I just saged in my apartment, getting ready for this reading and getting ready for personal readings and stuff like that. So, I also did love the Braxton family value. So, it's very sad to hear about Tracy. If you don't know, Tracy Braxton is one of the... Braxton sisters, a sister to Tony, a sister to Tamar, and unfortunately, Tracy recently passed away from, I think, some form of cancer, which is very, very sad. So, we're going to go ahead and channel the energy. There's been a lot going on drama-wise. Apparently, um, Tracy's husband and son had a memorial for her. The sisters didn't go, and now people are looking at the sisters sideways. So, in part one, we will be doing a reading on... Tracy will be just tapping into the energy of her situation, um, being respectful, of course. And then in part two, we will be doing a reading on the sisters all together in general and what's going on with them energetically. So thank you for being here. Like I said, I'm Lamar Townsend. Make sure you like, subscribe, share. I am available for personal readings. And right now, my books are not super busy or booked right now. So um, I think I have more one more reading to do. So I'm kind of taking a break in between readings to do this so if you want a reading check out my website i do all different types of readings lamar townsend tarot.com i do birth chart readings i do candles i do psychic tarot readings phone psychic tarot readings have top priority typically if you get a phone reading you'll get that the same day any other reading may take one to two days or less or maybe one day more depending on how busy i am or not busy i am right now i'm not super busy so people have been getting their readings pretty quick so um thank you all for the feedback by the way for those who have gotten their readings and been happy with their reading so um let me show you my website really quickly so you just know what my website looks like this is my website so once you've reached this page lamar townsend tarot.com you know you're on the right page make sure you follow me on my twitch where i do monthly horoscopes live streams Check out my YouTube, become a member of my Patreon where I also post extra exclusive content. And also check out my podcast on Spotify, Google, Anchor, and more. You can also scroll down here and view reviews from people who have verified purchase readings from me. Um, the green mark right there means that they have, you know, it's their, their verified purchase. Also, you can follow me down here on Instagram and my Facebook. But if you would like a reading, you would go directly to the store section of my website. Once again, this is where you can see all the... Uh, services and products that I do offer and like I said I do offer quite a lot you know for you know all my different spiritual people out there so I do past life readings if you want to learn about your past lives I do mediumship readings if you want to connect to your ancestors spirit guides or those who have passed on in your life um, I do birth chart readings I do classes spiritual development classes I do candles like I said I do astrology classes 
Um, I also do tarot classes and so much more. I do email psychic tarot readings, video recorded psychic tarot readings. I also do dream interpretation readings, which a lot of you do enjoy as well. And so much more. So go ahead and check out my website. I'm always adding new things. I also like to sew and make my own things. So right now I'm currently selling um, satin washcloths. Satin washcloths are really good because they are hypoallergenic. They do take in less um, debris, less bacteria than a normal uh, cotton washcloth because cotton absorbs. Satin doesn't absorb as much, but you do get a good lather with these washcloths. And I also sell African black soap, which is a good soap for eczema, dry skin, and acne. So if you would be interested in any of those things, check out my website. You guys always ask me, you know, about my skin and stuff like that and my skincare routine. And I keep it really simple. I just use African black soap and a moisturizer. So let's go ahead and get into it. Oh, and I only use satin washcloths for my face and my body. Of course, I use two separate washcloths for my face and my body. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the reading on Tracy Brown. Tracy uh, Braxton, oh my God, that was a Freudian slip. Tracy Brown is another psychic on YouTube who I'm friends with, and I absolutely love her. So if you are, you know, if you're not subscribed to her, go check her out too. Um, uh, so let's go ahead and get into this. I'm going to go ahead and do a quick cleansing uh, singing bowl so we can tap into the energy. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to tap into the energy of Tracy Braxton. Thank you for allowing me to just see what needs to be seen and say what needs to be said in the name of Jesus. Thank you for protecting my energy, my thoughts, my mind, and my emotions. Thank you for protecting the energy, thoughts, minds, and emotions of those watching this video. And just thank you for allowing me to get a clear connection to Tracy. If Tracy wants to come through, so be it, you know, um, otherwise, you know, just allow me to tap into the energy of the situation in the name of the mother, the daughter, the father, the son, the Holy Ghost. Amen, amen, amen. Remember, part two is available for YouTube members only, so if you want to see part two, become a member of my YouTube channel um, by clicking the join button. You may have to get on a computer or something like that. What, was, what is the energy with Tracy Braxton? What messages does Spirit want to give us about Tracy Braxton? The first thing I'm hearing is I'm I'm healed. So this must be Tracy coming through already. If this is Tracy, we give you respect and honor and love and light. And we're so sorry for your passing. She says, it's okay. I'm healed, she says. I'm healed. So it seems like what she's saying is she was suffering, obviously, on this side towards the end of her life. But on the other side, she's healed. She's like, she's healed, she's saying. And I think, Tracy, you know, um, if you don't mind me calling you that, I think what, uh, I don't know what else, I don't know what else I would call you, um, but I think when you say that, I think you're saying not just are you healed physically, but you're healed from a lot of maybe trauma, maybe that you, you went through or something like that. I do get that Tracy is, of course, watching over right now, specifically her son. I hear her grandchildren. I hear something about grandchildren. So she's around the son and the grandchildren the most right now. Um, it's interesting. I keep hearing Tamar, Tamar, Tamar. Like, it's almost like Tamar may be going in and out of, I'm okay, I'm okay, I got this, you know, and then she falls apart kind of thing. Um, so it's almost like, I feel like, as far as the sisters, she also is currently, and the interesting thing with spirit is, you know, even though spirit transition, people transition once we pass, we transition into the spiritual realm, there's still more work to be done on the other side, especially when the transition is fresh. Um, but as time goes on, the, the spirit's purpose changes and shifts as well. 
So this is just what her focus is right now at this time. It's not necessarily going to be her focus as time goes on. But I do feel her around Tamar. Like Tamar goes in and out of being okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm falling apart kind of thing. Um, the dad is also taking it very hard too. The mom is taking it hard as well, but the mom, I get, I get the energy of the mom has the other sisters around her. So I feel like she's around the grandchildren, the son, the dad, and Tamar the most at this time as we speak. And you know, I feel with the dad, like, I feel like with the dad, he thought he would be okay. Or more, more okay than he actually is. Like, there's something where day by day as time goes on, it's like it becomes more and more real for him. And there's this theme of, oh my god, my daughter has passed before I have, you know. It's always very sad to lose a child, I hear it, she's saying. I feel like, I hear Tracy saying that. It's always sad to lose a child, so I don't know if Tracy lost a child. I don't know if you, you Tracy lost a child, if you're saying you lost a child, or if you just kind of know what that feels like through other people you 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 have known um mm, she says no one of my sisters okay okay one of one of one of the sisters um she says tony so i don't know if tony has suffered from miscarriages allegedly for entertainment purposes only we have to say that on this channel tracy okay um She says, allegedly for entertainment purposes only. Um, and then I hear her laugh. And then she has that kind of, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I can, like, imitate her laugh. It's like a, <laughs> you know, kind of thing. Like, it's interesting. She's saying, oh, she loves you, or oh, he loves you, my cat. Fonzie, please. She must have loved cats or something. She must have loved pets, maybe. Okay. Do you want to get your teeth brushed? I thought so. Um... There's something about the movement of her legs. There was a point I feel like, I don't know if she was in a wheelchair or if she lost mobility. Like I'm seeing something about walking, almost like walking with a limp, walking with a cane, low energy, like, like there's something with walking where she kind of like realized, ooh, this isn't good towards the end. And I do feel like there were two years of, of I hear, decline. Um, of hardship, I'm hearing. Pain, she says. Inflammation. Um, she couldn't eat, she says. She couldn't hold, it was hard to hold down food or something like that. A liquid diet, I hear. You know, I feel like Tawanda visited Tracy a lot. Trina and Tamar. I don't know if Tony and Tracy were like a bit more distant or not as close as the other sisters. I feel a little bit of distance. This is alleged for entertainment for purposes only. I do feel a little bit of distance between Tony and Tracy. Um... In terms of, like, sisterhood. I mean, I hear her say, I hear Tracy say, we weren't as close. There's something about once Tony became famous. I think that's when it started. But at the same time, I'm getting a little bit of, like, there was always a little bit of, like, competition between Tony and Tracy. I don't know if they're the oldest. But once Tony... Jets, jets skyrocketed into fame. It's like, you know, there was a bitterness there. Uh, and I don't know if this is tr tr Tracy towards Tony. I feel like that's kind of the energy I'm getting. 
no disrespect to you, Tracy. Um, but you know, Tony. <laughs> Tracy says Tony can she, she can be a little fry, firecracker. She can be a little firecracker. Tony, um, I love Tony, you know, but I hear diva. She can be, we'll say diva. She can be a diva, even with her sisters. Um, and it's interesting because, oh, okay, Tracy, don't get me in trouble. Don't get me in trouble, Tracy. Okay, there's something Tracy's giving me this energy of Tony sets the precedent or set the precedent for all the under sis all the other sisters beneath her. So it almost is giving me the energy of like either Tracy is older than Tony or Tracy's the outlier. And it's like Tony and then everyone else falls underneath. But I feel like there's something about Tracy not following follow not wanting to follow underneath the tutelage of Tony for some reason. Like, there's something where Tony, you know, this is alleged for entertainment purposes only. This is just the energy I'm getting. But there's something with Tony's energy. Uh, is this the uh, reading for the sisters, Tracy? Or are we doing you? What's going on here? This is, is this part two mixed with part one? Anyway, there's something with Tony where it's like, I'm the princess. I'm the leader. Everyone else follows me what I do for the good or the bad, right? Um, like the, the sisters, Trina, Tawanda, uh, Tamar looked, look up to Tony, but there's something where Tracy knows like the real Tony, the Tony before fame and still the Tony after fame, right? Um... Alright, Tracy, we're going to have to save some of this for part two. I hear you. But we kind of want to focus on you here in part one. We want to hear from you, and we want to make sure that you, you are okay. So let's focus on you. I know you want to talk about your sisters. I know you want to talk about everybody else. But let's focus on you. What do you want to tell us about you and what you're going through? She's saying something about a rainbow. Like a rainbow in the sky. I mean, she's singing. She's singing. <laughs> Tracy is so funny. She's singing, what is that song that goes, Rainbow in the sky, you know how I feel. She's singing that right now. She is hilarious. Um, I literally hear her singing that. Um, she, um, she sang something about a rainbow. So I don't know if there was a rainbow in the sky the day she passed or during some sort of memorial, but there's something about a rainbow in the sky. Uh, she says, you know how I feel. Um, I love that she still has her sense of humor. I love that. She says, I love my sisters. I love my mother, but I was closer to my dad. And she says, I was closer to my brother. She says, my sisters, my mom, they have each other to heal. She says, but I have to be there for my dad. I have to be there for my brother. I have to be there for my son and my husband. I do think eventually there's a possibility, though, that the husband could remarry. Or, or I don't know if it's remarry or get with someone else eventually. I would say maybe within five years. I don't know if he's going to be super public with it. But it's like, she's kind of going, Tracy's going, it's a part of his healing. She's saying he would wish, he would wish the same for me if he, if the roles were switched. She says triumphant. I feel triumphant. She says I had fun. It was a life well lived. She says there was a lot of pain to work through. She says that I'm still working through. I don't know if she was someone that liked to drink tea. Because I see her with like a coffee mug. And she's like drinking from the coffee mug. It looks like she's sitting on the porch. And like just watching the sunset. And just relaxing. She looks a bit more skinny. She's like skinnier than she looks here in this picture. Um, 
you know, she was someone in her waking life where she kind of like to spend some time alone doing that. Just sitting, relaxing, taking in everything, taking in, you know, the weather, taking in, like, watching the birds, the bees, watching the neighbors. I see her waving at the neighbors. Hey, y'all. Like, that kind of thing. Um, and then I see her son coming out, sitting next to her, them having a talk, laughing. Like, she was just that type of person. She thought a lot. She kind of goes like this, I thought a lot. Sometimes too much, she says. But I was a thinker, she says. But she says, I held a lot in, in though. She's like, I held a lot inside. Which contributed to her, her, her health issues. She says. She's saying she developed some sort of pain in her right breast. Or in that area. And at first she thought, she thought maybe it was like breast cancer or something like that. Then she says she had stomach issues, stomach issues, acidity, acid reflux. Couldn't keep anything down. And certain things would trigger it. I feel like alcohol would trigger it, acidic foods would trigger it, something about lemons. So it's almost like I feel like she, she's saying she went on a whole holistic diet thinking it would help but it's almost like she I don't know if she's saying she didn't get it checked as soon as she could or something like that if she let it prolong she's saying she didn't believe it was cancer she didn't believe it could be cancer she says until one day there's something where she was she was in the bathroom, maybe using the bathroom, and there was something with the pee, blood, something like that. And then she realized, or there was something with the color, like she realized something was wrong. She's saying I couldn't, couldn't use the bathroom, she couldn't use the bathroom. She's saying hot flashes, she's like, I, I was having hot flashes. Something like that. So there's a lot going on, she's saying. Like, I don't know how old she was when she passed, but I don't know if she was going through maybe menopause or something like that. But it was like there was a lot going on. So she couldn't figure out exactly what it was. Is it this? Is it that? Like, what's going on? So I think once she got the diagnosis, she was devastated. She's saying, I was devastated. I didn't know what to do, didn't know what to say, who to tell. I feel like the first person she told was, once again, her husband and her dad, her father. I feel like out of the sisters, there's something about Tawanda. I feel like she, some, she may have had a conversation with Tawanda. Because she's saying out of all the sisters, she's the most level-headed to have a conversation with. Especially about something like this, she says. And you know, out of all the sisters, I think that might be a sign we need to wrap up, I guess, and move on to part two. I think out of all the sisters... She's eventually going to visit all the sisters, but there's something about Tawanda where she's going to be around Tawanda a lot as well. So I don't know what's going on with Tawanda. But she's like, she's saying like, I think she, she wants to end the reading by saying, get yourself checked. Don't wait, she says. Don't wait. Get yourself checked. She's like saying, get them pap smears, get them... She goes like this, get them boobies checked. She is really a hoot. Um, 
But she's saying you gotta laugh though. You gotta laugh. It's it's sad. You know, it it's it's um it's a transition. She kinda goes like this, you can't see me, but I'm here. You know. So you gotta make jokes about it. You gotta laugh, you know. Um laughter is the best medicine, she says. Alright. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and get into part two now. Thank you all for listening and watching. Remember, if you would like a reading from me, I am available on my website, lamartownsandtarot.com. Definitely check out my website uh, for a personal reading. I would love to do a reading with you. Also, um, if you want to see part two, become a member of my YouTube channel by clicking the join button. Also, if you want e even more exclusive content, check out my Vimeo, check out my Patreon, check out my Twitch, and all my other platforms. I'll see you in the next video. I'll see you in your own personal reading. Either way, I'll see you soon. Love and light. God bless. And thank you, Tracy. We send you love and light as well.